Hello, this is one of the episodes that I pre-recorded for my maternity leave. So this was recorded around November end of 2023. Love you. Hello. Welcome back to Circle Time. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. Whenever you're listening to this, we have a guest on that we've had on before that is one of our favorites, mine oh. and the Circlers. Would you like to say who you are? Hey guys, it's Connor Wood, <laughs> Fibs, back in the studio. Connor's back. Thank God. Thank God for me too. I am just so honored that you decided to come back. You can take a sip. No. Go, go. <laughs> mm. it, did you just get into water bottles? Obsessed, yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel like I I've can't. never seen this side I, of you. I can't put this thing down. No, I know. It's addicting. Yeah. Do you fill it up with ice? No, I don't like cold water. Really? Which is kind of like... Why do you even have one of those? It's kind of pointless, yeah. yeah. I know. Is it water in there? It's water in there. No, it's vodka. <laughs> no, I just... I'm drinking for two. <laughs> Kelsey can join me. <laughs> That's Cody's like favorite joke. Drinking for two? He says he's drinking for three. Oh, so, cute. So sweet. <laughs> drinking for, it's awesome I'm for drinking me for when my unborn for child. Yeah. <laughs> I have a great time when he decides to do that. Yeah. So you don't put ice in there? No. Then why do you like it? It's just like a large vehicle for my water and it fits in my cup holder. Yeah. And I did an ad for them. <laughs> okay. Well, then that's the trifecta. So the money helped. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have like the half galloner down mm-hmm. there. That thing is the most inconvenient. I, I can't take it. Like, it's, Can you can you pick it up yeah. if you're able to? Whoa. Talk about jugs. Jug city <laughs> over there. Yep. As if having two wasn't enough, I had to get another oh, one. <laughs> mic drop. Jug, jug joke. Jug joke. Um, um, we have yeah, a, I'm obsessed with this thing though. We have an ad on our on Broken Eyes podcast. Yeah, for I think Green Planet dryer what are uh, not dryer wipes laundry detergent wipes. I I, I use those. Yeah, I and do. I I also promote them. Oh, cool! Is it Green Planet? Is uh, that maybe the? mine might be different, but I use a sheet for the washer. A detergent. A detergent sheet. Sheet. Yeah. Yeah. I love them now too, but Earth Breeze. That's what it is. Okay. We did too. Okay. That's what it is. I knew it was like Planet something. Yeah, planet Earth. Planet Earth. Breeze, they, wind. Uh, facts. And their whole thing in the ad read is like, get rid of those heavy jugs. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm always like, Brooke, you know, one thing I hate is a, is a carrying around, is when my mom had me carry around my, her heavy jugs. So my mom always, like the, her jugs were too heavy to carry around the grocery store. So I always was on jug duty. And like, we can't even get through it because Brooke's like, Connor, I also hate having heavy jugs. So get rid of those heavy jugs and switch to Earth Breeze. I can't. I'm crying. Because they do. They are heavy jugs full of detergent. It's true. And you don't need those. And it's a lot of waste, too. It's true. And these, these sheets are the same size as dryer sheets. You put them there, you end up having so much storage for other stuff, other jugs. Listen, like I these. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, either or <laughs> any of mine. Yeah. But I could couldn't agree more. I just I'm so happy you feel so passionately about it as I do because mm. jug conservation. <laughs> my jug conservation efforts are through the roof in my household. Do you want to have anti jug? Yeah, I was gonna say you don't have any jugs unless unless a lady comes over. <laughs> I, we are a jug free household, okay. Kels. We're going jug free this year. Yeah, and Jer. <laughs> <laughs> Walk me through that. <laughs> Instead of dare, <laughs> like the like the drug the jug, drug jug. <laughs> what does dare stand for? Drug dare to dog, be drug free. Drugs think... are really icky. <laughs> What does DARE stand for? Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Okay. Well, 
Mine is drug abuse resistance education. Okay. That was what Jer was. Jer. <laughs> Jer to be Jer to be drug free in the new year. I I am so sorry, circlers. Every single time every single time Connor comes on, it's just me giggling. Go. Oh. And not a single thing is getting taken care of. We knew coming into this too, because Kelsey was like, I was late for my last one. Yep. Well, she texted me as I'm Every time I text Kelsey too, I'm sitting on my phone staring at her messages going, <laughs> okay, how do I apologize for what I'm about to say next? I rescheduled our first one. Which broke my heart, I but know. it's okay. And then for this one, I was already running late. And right. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. For I mean, just because I have no time management is like the answer at the end Story of the day. Story of my life. But I'm texting her about to apologize. Message pops up in our messages, which is just kismet. And it said... Hey, no worries if you're late. And I was like, you, I was gonna, I was apologizing as you sent me yeah, that. Yeah, I read, I read your mind. But she was but late. I was late. And then it worked out. Exactly. Now that being said, like I love you to goddamn death, and you know that. And I love you as well. The parking situation in this structure is gonna ruin our relationship. <laughs> no, it's not. It's gonna, it's gonna unlock things that we didn't even know we had to deal with as friends, and I think it's gonna make us stronger. I don't know where my car is. I'm gonna have to Uber home. <laughs> You don't know which one you parked in? No, I'll never find my car here. No, I'll help you. I took pictures of, when I stepped out of my car, I took pictures where it was <laughs> to the right and to the left, okay. and I'm just going to match those up. That's a good idea. I know. I, I know it's confusing to I, get here. When I park in any parking structure, I need to leave crumbs like Hansel and Gretel. I take pictures constantly. Or a long string like the maze with the martyr, or not the martyr, that bull man with the horns. Um... What are you talking it's about? It's a mythical creature. It's a mythical beast. But the, the in the in the story, in the, yeah. in the mythology, the per, the person going into the maze, I think, had to leave a long string so they could pull them. Let's not even go. I into, didn't know you were into mythology. Yeah, we had to take mythology as like our history class, which like I would have probably benefited more from learning history of real things for sure in but high school. In high school, yeah, we did we didn't know like Aphrodite's LinkedIn resume. <laughs> What did Aphrodite do before she bought the Minotaur? <laughs> oh, that's you know, what it is. Minotaur, not. Oh, that's Martyr. so interesting. Did you go to like a private school? Public, no. So oh, okay. Public, yeah. I had to learn like a lot about religion, like really? Catholicism, because I went to like a private Catholic school. So like I could oh, tell yeah. you like anything about the Bible. I mean, I actually maybe couldn't. Yeah. I don't have at that this many. Point. Yeah, I don't know how many Bible questions you have kind of just like laying around or... What's so nice, I don't have any off the top of my head. We, yeah. I might, one might pop up. Okay. We actually do randomly talk a lot, Brooke and I, about religion on our podcast. Stuff comes up. Really? Yeah. Because I was raised Christian. She's Jewish. Right. So there's like a lot of like compare and contrast situations. Right. That there's a lot to chat about. There's much to chat about. Yeah. But what was I going to say? Oh, I have a joke actually in my stand up. Okay. That I just rely on people not having any knowledge of the Bible because it lands really well. Okay, like, do you oh, want to test it out on us? Yeah, I just talk about how um, in the past year I went to 13 weddings. Your your guys' this was actually one of the weddings. Okay. And, or 12 weddings in a year, which is like far too many weddings. It's a lot. Popular. No one, well, no one should have that many close friends because it's just a lot of traveling for what? Like, I, <laughs> you know, I didn't do any <laughs> traveling besides weddings this year. Right. And people like having you around. It was, well, I don't, I'm, it's not my best self at the weddings. <laughs> I think it's a good version. It's a, it's it's a, a fun version. And it's, it's a little too fun, which I'll, will be addressed, I'm sure, in rehab. But the last person to have 12 friends, the joke is Jesus. Right. He was killed for it. <laughs> so it, it lands, got me. It lands better. That got me. You know, and then I was like, I hope it was 12 disciples, which it I think was, it ends it up is. being. Yeah. So it, 12 friends. Yeah. The chances are they're going to turn on you. One will, Judas. Judas. It won't mm. be me, though. Thank you. You know what I could just have, speaking of Judas, gotten so into is watching people do Lady Gaga's dance to Judas on TikTok. I, I, must, have, I must have not seen it yet on my FYP. <laughs> I mean, I highly recommend to anyone out there who hasn't looked it up to go look it up. It's, a, it's like an iconic dance that Lady Gaga performs with the song, but now I'm watching other people do it and I'm just absolutely funny. eating it up. No, it's just people doing a dance. Okay, It's funny, like, 
how good it is. Oh, they're good at it. Yeah. Oh, I need to do a deep dive. I love, do you like watching people like actually dance? Mm -hmm. Like I love watching dancing videos. I love when there's like a good song that's like trending and people are doing the, the thing and then you yeah. watch it long enough to where like you listen you know to the it? song and you're kind of like doing the thing and then. Totally. I remember right when TikTok came out, I had to make a decision. You know, when, <laughs> when I was kind of doing it, I'm like, should I be serious and, dance? and do some, because they're fun to do if you they're like learn so them. so fun. Yeah. I remember there was one when the baby was like every single. Do you remember the baby? Yeah, I mean the that... baby. <laughs> Didn't he get canceled? Not the baby. This guy. The baby. Yeah. He got canceled. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of like I remember. Like uh, he he has that one that's like my wrist so cold. I think I'm done with eyes. Oh, I didn't know that was him. Down. Yeah, yeah. But there was just that was like really almost like adult nursery rhymes. Oh, it's for like sure. Everything you do. Everything he says, you're doing Burr. like right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it was like all. It's so true. Yeah. Have and you, you have you ever wanted to make one? I have like old TikToks of mine. I do create kind of joke about. No, I didn't create any dances, but I did like some OG dances. Which and ones? then I would cut. I did the Renegade. That my first TikTok I, ever was me doing no the Renegade. Way. Oh, we did a dance together in your old house. Did we? Yeah. What dance? Uh, you taught me the oh the Beyonce the one. Beyonce one <laughs> yeah and you ate the that banana yeah yeah like stuff like that where I'm like oh this is like so random people are gonna eat this up because it's so random <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were into random humor <laughs> I'm pretty random <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy yeah. of you but can't take me anywhere you was random when you ate that banana yeah super random and it gets me every time I, oh and then we like turned on I actually clenched my butt and it turned on your your gas <laughs> stove. <laughs> with my cheeks. <laughs> you actually watch us panic because the gas stove turned on. Yes, if you want to go deep down into Connor's TikTok, you'll find us dancing. I mean, I was so skinny. <laughs> I was oh. like, I was just, I think I was peaking then we were going out oh yeah we were going out we're, and i don't even i think cody and i might have already gotten married or it was right before it was, right it before. was before we got married because there was yeah there was an era where it was kind of like a copy and pasted weekend every single weekend yeah but it was around the wedding like the, the wedding was coming up i think yeah anyway it was and fall. connor and i it was yeah. probably a year ago yeah and connor and i did the beyonce thank <laughs> you <laughs> uh, oh yeah <laughs> what's that song called i feel you know? like falling in love i'm, I'm in the mood to fuck, fuck something up. Up. yeah that was yeah, good yeah that was really hit this note we hit every single note yeah. just now but connor and i did dance connor then proceeds to like eat a banana skin on and then proceeds to turn the gas stove on and then we kind of freak out that was the whole TikTok. And that's the whole TikTok. But you can go watch it for yourself because he does grasp, grasp the gas in between his little cheeks yep. and turn it right on. Yeah. I'm out of breath from trying to explain that. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was. It was a good a time. Lot. Yeah. This year, a goal of mine is to really prioritize my own mental health and make sure that I am mentally strong and healthy. As you know, I am a mother now and I just want to learn how to better cope with stress and the chaos of life and all of that because I feel like if that is strong, then I can be a stronger mom. You know what I mean? And I'm so lucky to have found Cerebral, the perfect place for me and anyone who has set a goal to focus on their mental health this year. Cerebral is here to help you achieve your mental wellness goals with professional therapy and medication management support 100% online. You'll experience the all new Cerebral way, an innovative approach to mental wellness designed around you. You'll get a personalized treatment plan from a therapist, prescriber, or both in a safe and judgment-free zone. So you get an expert clinician working alongside of you to craft a treatment plan that's tailored to your individual goals. So it's really, you know, for you, whether you're looking for therapy, medication management, or both, Cerebral has you covered. Cerebral also takes the worry away from finding the right provider and scheduling appointments. They bring it all to you wherever you need it. So if you want to get started on your path towards better mental health, Cerebral is giving our listeners 15% off their first month of online therapy, medication, or both. Get started at Cerebral.com slash podcast and use code CIRCLETIME. That's Cerebral, 
C-E-R-E-B-R-A-L.com slash podcast and use code circle time to get 15% off your first month. Make 2024 your best year yet. Offer only valid on monthly plans. Other exclusions may apply. See site for details. All right. I don't know if any of my girlies out there can relate, but I really used to have just like the worst PMS. Okay. And I would have such a rough week before my period. First, I didn't really realize what it was. Then I realized it was PMS. And just every month there would be a few days where I really didn't feel like myself. I would be irritable and not as pleasant as I normally am, you know, and I would have random food cravings and it was just kind of a mess. And then I found Estro Control. Estro Control is a formula developed by Happy Mammoth, which is a supplement company dedicated to making women's lives easier. And I'm all about making women's lives easier. Estro Control contains science-backed herbal extracts that help support hormonal health, especially in women who suffer from PMS like I did. I tried a lot of supplements to help lessen my PMS symptoms and none were working. And I think what sets Estro Control apart is that the ingredients help support the liver and that's where our hormones get processed, especially estrogen. So when the estrogen isn't processed well in the liver, women may start having PMS symptoms. It's interesting, isn't it? Truly, I cannot recommend Estro Control enough. If you struggle with PMS, it has taken a worry off my plate and helped me to feel myself all month long. For a limited time, you can get 15% off on your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use the code CIRCLETIME at checkout. And it's amazing. Get 15% off on your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use the code CIRCLETIME at checkout. Here's something for you. Okay. (laughs) What is it? Okay, because we've also talked about this on, on our podcast. And I wanted to come in here today and like not talk about your pregnancy because I, I figure you're probably sick and tired. I bet every conversation you're having right now is like, oh, yeah. Well, to, to be honest, it is the really like the main thing going on in my life. Right. So it, it is the thing I know most about. Yeah. So I'm like, okay to talk about it. Okay, cool. What There's do you want to talk about? Placenta. Okay. What's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen there? What's going to happen with your placenta? What's your plan moving forward with the placenta? Do you have one? I don't have much of a placenta plan going on. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just going to get it out and bid it adieu. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'm not planning on like capsuling it or anything. Yeah, I was wondering, is it it a capsule thing? Is it like a plate lunch situation? Are you wondering if I'm going to eat it? Yeah, are you going to eat your placenta? No. No. I'm not planning on it. Yeah, it's gnarly. I lo- we looked it up. We looked up what a placenta looks like. I, for some reason, thought it was like a little kidney bean. <laughs> like a little <laughs> toss it back <laughs> with a sip of water. Yeah. Well, it could be if it's, you capsule it. It's not. That thing is a, like a... It's big, right? It, it's like a meatloaf sized <laughs> beast. It, yeah, I don't, I don't, to be honest, like don't want to think too much about it because I am, oh, you don't yeah. have to like deliver it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ran after the baby. I have to deliver my placenta. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you going to... Is anyone else throwing up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrified. I don't terrified. know why that hit me. No. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Do you have the no. ache from me? <laughs> no, not at all. You don't have to deliver it, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just... It's it's just... It's just... It's keeping him alive. Right. And I'm, I love it. I never want to talk bad about it. Mm, but no. It's it's gonna just exit the body and then stay out. Yeah. See ya. I don't think I'll be ingesting it. Cool. Yeah. I don't think there's anything, any any actual proven benefits from it. I think it's just kind of like. I think there might be there. I think some people have good reason. Yeah, I'm sure. I support <laughs> any I support decision. It, obviously. Uh, me too. Should we boycott the placenta eaters? No. No. I think. Sorry. That could get. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyone we it, could it, we could take out the boycotting. Yeah. We could take out the shaming of eating the placenta. Yeah. How about that? I think anything anything anyone wants to do with their placenta, they should do. Go off. I agree. Yeah. Just for me personally, I don't think I'll be ingesting yeah. it. But maybe the second one. Cool. <laughs> Save me a bite. I would love to. I wouldn't ever eat it. I would capsule it perhaps. I just feel like it's like a it's like a f- I guess you can capsule any sort of protein, like protein right. mix is like, and I, I think mean, it's like the proteins. That's what you want from the placenta, right? I don't know t- I don't enough either. about it, so I can't, I don't want to talk about it because. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm, I'm like projecting what I read about 
there's no benefit for a guy to eat a placenta. That's what I was thinking. And you are so right. Yeah. I think. No, it's true because there's actually, Brooke and I talk way too much about this stuff, but like there's benef- there's no benefits of me drinking my own pee. Right. Like Bear Grylls is always, he's obsessed with drinking his pee. Yeah. There's actually, besides, I guess like hydrating. And maybe but, like flavor. And maybe if you're into the flavor yeah. of your own pee, to each their own. DSDF is what we're always saying. Different strokes for different folks. It's true. Some people yeah, are into that. Are into that. Yeah. Sure. Don't knock it till you try it, I guess. It's true. I haven't tried it, but. Me either. There is benefits of me drinking someone else's pee potentially because when I pee, mm-hmm. when I expel that from mm-hmm. my body, that's what my body is, is that's waste for me. Right. So it's like stuff that I couldn't use in my own body. But right. yours. Yes. Might have something might that you have could benefit from. Right. Okay, you're like Bill Nye. But, well, because of our podcast, we're so dumb when we go into topics <laughs> that, like, we actually learn stuff by proxy. That's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But your placenta I would not benefit from No, at all. and I wouldn't share it with you, to no, be honest. No worries. Yeah. No worries. I am, shouldn't say that. I, my stomach just growled for some reason. <laughs> Are you hungry? I am hungry. Wait, I actually want to tell you about my, my new favorite snack. Oh, hit me. This is, like, so not sponsored at all. Okay. I just discovered this on the way here and was, like, I have on to tell On the way Connor here, you found a this. new snack? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I stopped because mm. I, I, I can't not eat now. Like, I have to eat. I used to, like, I could just go all day and then finally eat eventually. Yeah. But now I'm, like, I have to... It's not just for me anymore. You need to be nourishing your body, right? Right. So I had to stop and I got a smoothie, which obviously there was a chunk in it. And so I get one chunk and then it's just game over. Can't enjoy the rest of the smoothie. But I got a protein bar and I got these little motherfuckers. Hang on. That's like the healthiest food I've ever heard from like a normal not pregnant person. If I was you, I'd be eating nachos (laughs) while I'm driving. I would be I, eating so much gross shit. Well, I eat so I I do dabble in a lot of not healthy stuff, and so when I'm you're like, eating like Haley B Be- Haley Bieber right well, now. Yeah, <laughs> no, I it just was like today. That was just today. Okay, but like you know, it depends on the day. But I do like to have something healthy. Right, feels good, and I have to have a lot of protein. Yeah, so it's like I need to like get that in somewhere. Mm. But they had these. Okay, they're called Asha Pops. Asha I'm Pops. I'm obsessed. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm excited. I'm See, absolutely loving. I'm stopping on the way home, getting like eight more bags. It's blowing my mind that you in in. I mean, I don't get the pregnancy thing, but like you're gonna try a new. <laughs> Sorry. Un- in what? In what way? In you, what way? It, don't you not get okay. it? Okay. Like being pregnant. My mom always said she craved eating dirt, which is some people. Crazy. Some people crave eating not food. Yeah, but like you're gonna go out on a limb and be like, I'm craving popped water lily seeds (laughs) it's like it's this is just a new thing i've like made my rounds yeah oh so now it's now i'm branching out now i'm branching out but they're so good and i want you to try one i'll try one here thank you do you like rosemary i don't oh yeah 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 i do i like smelling it i don't think oh yeah and i like eating it too i had to think about what i eat it on try one okay they're weird let me get it away from the mic so i don't i love them (laughs) <laughs> there's so much flavor in just one seed there's so I much lo- flavor in one water Wait. lily seed oh. oh yeah no it's good do you like it mm-hmm. anyway these just have changed my life in wow. the last like hour so i like would feel like a bad friend if i didn't tell you about them Kelsey, those would be good on a salad you think mm-hmm. like a crouton like a crouton in lieu of a crouton i love croutons me too i eat croutons like chips i know you know what i do Take just croutons and just and dressing, put it in a bowl and just with a fork. Like lunch cereal. Lunch cereal. Wow. It's so true. Verbal trademark. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. But it's like the best snack. That's awesome. I'm being serious. And I haven't, that was like pre-pregnancy. That wasn't like a pregnant thing. I'm doing that today when I get I home. I might do it when I get home too. Oh my gosh, my stomach. Have you not eaten anything today? No, I had a bagel this morning really early. Okay. Um, Where did where'd you get your bagel from? Noah's Bagels in Manhattan Beach. Ooh, that Noah's is the best. It is the best. I mean, it's the best for us. Like, oh, if LA you're like, doesn't have no. any good bagels. Right. It is the best bagel that I've found. Yeah, Sam's Bagels is good. Sam's, where mm-hmm. is that? Santa Monica. Okay, I'll make a, I'll make my way over there. I love Noah's Bagels in Manhattan Beach specifically because it is. You better bring your elbows mm-hmm. here because the elderly are there before they must camp out overnight they're there every <laughs> single day before it opens you will not get a table there 
You'd have to fight. You wait in line You're for gonna, it to open. I have not, but the okay. senior citizens must there, must get first pick. There's nothing I love more, actually, truly, than going to like a bagel place or like a coffee shop mm-hmm. and just seeing a table of like old guys just sitting chatting. No. Yeah. There is no one in the world that deserves a podcast more than those three old men sitting outside of that cafe. Right. What are they talking about? What do about? they talk about? I want to be a fly on their forehead. Me too. But at the same time, could be pretty like controversial, right. whatever they're saying. Like, you know, it's going to be offensive. I didn't think about that. They're, they don't give a fuck. They don't. What's to lose? Cancel me. Yeah. See if Can- I care. Cancel me. I'll be dead before you f- before I find out I'm canceled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> before they post it in the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they cancel them in the obituary. <laughs> <laughs> I meant more because like they don't have like iPhones. Well, they probably do. Why are we talking about them like that? These people don't exist really <laughs> like outside of this conversation. Actually, we're talking We're talking super fictional. Well, I have seen these people you're talking about <laughs> but, but several times. Right. They're like entities. Yeah, they're sweet. Love them to death. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm scared. I'm going to get canceled because of canceling the old men. These are hypothetical old men they're I mean, not they, even real here's the thing it's almost like a schrodinger's cat situation because like these old men do not exist but when we go to the coffee shop later they're there that's true but until we go there they're not they don't exist how long do you think they sit out there they've got nowhere to be <laughs> we don't know that. oh my god yeah they might have somewhere to be what if they have somewhere to be what if they have grandkids hmm they're bringing up like a lot of i feel like they're there points. i'm gonna say two and a half hours i think i'm gonna go up to three because that's a good amount of time. They're getting there at 6.30, like right. 9.30, when most of us are beginning our day. Right. They're finishing up. They're finishing up. And do, do they have multiple breakfasts? I think they nap for- Cream of wheat. What is that? <laughs> Cream of Thank wheat? Thank God you brought that up. What is that? Cream of wheat is like oatmeal, but wheat. <laughs> That's one of those foods where I it's like- I have actually no clue. I don't know what cream of wheat is. How the hell did they make wheat? Wheat, which is a grass, right? You're going to cream? You're gonna cream my well, wheat? It's like oatmeal. It's like kind of like creamed oats almost. Oh my god! Right? How did my oats get all creamy? Exactly. They just soak them in water. They probably. soak them. Hmm. That's really cool that we got there. I would love to try cream of wheat. Actually, have you ever tried it? Mm-mm. No, it doesn't really interest me. But <laughs> it it's... doesn't really interest me either. But my dad says it's good. Since I I've been a him. kid, he's like absolutely loved cream of wheat. He's a good guy. I love your parents. Yeah, I I'm mean, obsessed with your parents. Me too. And and they love you too. I actually FaceTimed them last night and I said, Connor's coming on the podcast tomorrow. And they were both so pleased. And you were also at dinner with Cody when I was talking to oh, them. Oh, no way. So it was like kind of just like the double whammy of, of con. Yeah. If I'm a little slower today, just so everybody knows, I podcasted. I did our podcast. He did his own podcast. Took the re- Drove home, took the dog out, came back, did Cody's podcast. Mm-hmm. And then dinner with Cody, which was just yeah. a dream of mine. Was it? Yeah, it was funny because... Quinn 92, yeah. Mike, he had planned this supper for us to meet one of his buddies and and then he got sick. Oh, he wasn't there. So he didn't come. So it was me and Cody oh my who, had, God. who had just podcasted together, which by the way, I had a meeting right after our podcast Yeah, that I had to take in my car. After it, your podcast with Brooke? After my podcast with Cody. Okay. Sorry. You're saying our, and I don't know which Cody hour. And my, sorry. Cody and, Cody and my podcast. And we had to leave immediately. And so I was 20 minutes late. So Cody got there and it was just him and him and that guy. Him and a man he's never met. Wow. But it was awesome. It was a good dinner. Yeah. It was a good time. So you were late for dinner. I was 20 minutes late for <laughs> dinner. They had already ordered. Oh my Cody, God. He, no, he doesn't. He won't wait. Cody did not wait. In fact, he ordered a round of duck hearts for the table. He told me about that. Yeah. They were That's good. insane of him. I was a little taken aback because when you arrive somewhere, your stomach's growling and you see a plate of duck hearts, you're not like, ooh, like. Right. Yummy. Yeah. Let well, me, what let do me they get look in. like? Like what shape? Like oval. Okay. But just like, but they're all kind of different shapes. They're all very unique. These heart, these duck hearts. Kind of making me yeah, want to cry. Yeah, we can move on. I know. It was a really, it was a cool dinner though. It was very interesting little foods. So much so that it was like, oh, let me take a. I'll just, a little I'll just have one Chishito pepper. Ooh, right, now yeah. I'm. Did you I left after? there and I went to Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> and I had Did to act. You? I had to act so normal, but I had one beer on this like empty stomach. Right. And then I like had my duck heart. Right. And obviously. Then half Good of combo. Half of a uh, uni crispy rice. Mm. So that was that big. Right. And I heard you guys had a good dessert. 
The dessert was phenomenal. Yeah, Cody said it was the best yeah. part. Yeah, Cody. What? Cody made his made himself known on that dessert. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? So they brought over a bowl. Yeah. With three scoops of caramel ice cream and three spoons that three men at this table were sharing. <laughs> Two married men and and a boy. <laughs> My gay dads. <laughs> Who okay. and we all took. I was like, I'm just gonna take one bite so I don't like, you know, I don't want to like put my spoon back in. Cody turned the bowl, finished up mine. <laughs> he finished the bowl. He, he, he loves dessert. <laughs> he loves dessert. And then, I just, I know, I'm laughing so hard because the amount of times that I have lived this situation, like he loves dessert. Oh. And he loves when something is good. And then I love it so much. It was, it was a great meal and dessert. Right. And, and he enjoyed it. He loved it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was he like, was like, oh my God. It's, was he like, it was funny. Like so, expressive about it. So, like, he was like, he had the spoon and he was like, <laughs> did some Not pointing. Ice cream and yeah. I didn't know what he was doing. And then Corey, who we were with, was like, it's really good, right? It's really good. And he's like, it's really good. It's really good. And he turned the bowl, finished up my scoop. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. You know when he likes something. Yeah, and I I appreciate that because you want to be, like, it's like, the thing you do is like, oh, like, I don't want to act like I like it too much because I don't want to like, seem hungry at the, like, small bites thing, but, like, I'm starving. Right. There is nothing on earth that makes me feel more primitive, mm -hmm. more primal. Yeah. Than shared plates. Okay. <laughs> Are you, so would you ever, like, eat the last bite? No. I mean, like, I want to. You right, know, it's but like, would you? No. If someone's like, no, you. Cody had one wing left last night, and I was like, I can't. I'm, but I'm, did you, I and, know, you I, and you wanted I it. I wanted it bad. And he offered it. Yeah, Corey ate it. Oh, yeah, see. Corey got to, yeah. got to the wing before I did. It's tough. It is, but it's, it's, I don't like the fact that it seems like I was born in the woods anytime there's shared plates. Like, <laughs> I'm like, get, don't fucking touch that. Right, that last that's true. That yeah, yeah. That's why I can't be around a charcuterie board because it's just too too much. I'm like, is that four grapes and a pretzel? Like back, I, I'm like, I'm eyeing Get away. that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want the and there's only so many pieces of sliced salami. Right, right, right. I'm like, right. that's the protein of of this dish. Right. So I always have to eat first before I go to like a small shared plate meal. What if you don't know after. it's going to be a shared plate meal? Like that was last night. I'm assuming that's My why you blood? had to leave. I mean, last night was fine because I was like, I know I'm just going to eat. Eat after. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes me feel competitive for some reason. Really? It's, it's, it's almost like, yeah. Are you competitive? A little bit. I feel like you're like, I wouldn't, I don't think I've ever seen that side of you. Have we ever like played, played a, game? a game? Why? No, Kelsey, we why haven't. Why would we have ever played a game? I guess we could have. But why would we? Why haven't that's we? That's like a really sad. It kind of is. We could have so much fun. I actually, I'm like the least competitive person oh. ever. And I find it like I find it quite disturbing actually when people like get really into something. Yeah, I don't like it about me. So I usually kind of stray away. Mm -hmm. But oh, you're someone that would leave in the middle of a game that we have going. I wouldn't start it. You wouldn't be on my team then. No, I would. I'm like I'm the kind of person where it's like let's play a game, and I'm like I'll just be like I'll watch. I'm good. Oh my gosh. It depends on the game. If it's like a trivia, like. It's yeah. like a pop culture trivia game. That's fun. I'm like, absolutely. There's only a right or wrong. Yeah. If it's like me having to do some sort of activity that I could mess up for the people who really care behind okay. me. Okay. Not worth the No, not because worth the I'm stress. like, they're apparently this is the most important thing they've ever done. Yeah. And I don't care enough. And so I'm not going to give them what they need from right. me. So I'm going to just remove myself okay. and save this relationship. So you wouldn't play like a heads up type thing where it's. You know, oh, I love heads up. I love that one. That one I get competitive because I'm like, really, you didn't get. But that one is also so like subjective to right. how you describe things and That's, your knowledge. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't. That one doesn't bother me. Like Pictionary, then. I don't ever. I've never played. Pictionary is where like the same sort of thing, but there's levels where it's like first you draw something okay. and you're guessing, but you can't you can't speak, but your your team is guessing. Right, right, right. Second one, you act it out. Yeah. That kind of thing. It's like they don't bo code names, for example. What's code names? Code names is like when you had you've never played code names. I've never even heard of code names. It's fun, but it gets really intense. Like they have like words, and then you have words that you know are yours, but nobody else knows they're yours. But you're trying to get the people on your team to guess those words. Do you put it in like a fishbowl? No. Mm. I guess that game is called fishbowl. 
Salad bowl. Salad salad bowl where yeah. you put the words in? Yeah, I like that one. But code names is just like too intense. And then like, I also think maybe I actually am more competitive than I realize. And so then I get pissed off when someone's like doing something they shouldn't do. That's, that's competitive. And then I, That's a competitive yeah, nature. Yeah, but I, I really don't like that side of me. Okay, Like yeah. it, it really, it makes me upset. No, that's why I stopped playing putt-putt because I also don't like that side of me. Like mini golf? Yeah, like when I start messing up, I'm like so mad that it ruins my time and like I'm not having fun anymore and then right. I quit and I don't like quitting. Right. So I just rather not start. So I guess right. we, yeah, me and you are one and the same. Yeah. Maybe we are. Well, that's why we get along so. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's, it's not maybe we are. We on are. On God. On God. On God. On God. Facts on God. Facts on God. Couldn't have said it better myself. So as you know, I just had a child. I had my baby boy Otis and he is 2 months old now, which is just crazy. And it's amazing. But there are really so many things to think about while being pregnant, you know, and now being a mom and something that is really, really important and that you have to focus on during your pregnancy. And now my postpartum is nutrition. Pregnancy and postpartum are some of the most nutritionally demanding times in a woman's life. And as a mom, the health of your baby is directly influenced by your nutrient status. So I really wanted to make sure I found the perfect supplement for me because there are so many supplements out there. It's really hard to know what the best option is. And after doing a lot of research and talking to my friends, everyone's favorite was needed. Most prenatal vitamins include bare minimum nutrition based on outdated guidance and stale research. Needed offers radically better nutrition products, education, and advocacy rooted in clinical research and practitioner validation. Needed is recommended and used by more than 4,000 women's health experts from nutritionists to midwives, functional medicine doctors, and OBGYNs. Something that I personally was very happy to hear is that they go above and beyond with their third-party tests, so they test every batch to ensure the safest product. Needed offers premium supplements for every stage from egg quality support for women trying to conceive to a lactation support plan for breastfeeding moms to stress and sleep support that supports all women including those in menopause. So head over to thisisneeded.com and use code CIRCLETIME for 20% off your first order. That's T-H-I-S-I-S-N-E-E-D-E-D.com and use code CIRCLETIME for 20% off your first order. All right, I want to encourage any of my circlers out there, if you have a desire to start a brand or sell a product or post content or whatever your dream is that you're holding on to, I want you to just go for it because I know speaking from personal experience, my life completely changed for the better when I put myself out there online. I mean, I could not have even dreamed up my life turning out the way it has. And you just really never know where putting yourself out there will take you in life. And it seems scary, but it's so worth it. And we are well into 2024. And I just know the circlers are all doing great things out there. And if you are ready to step out of your comfort zone, but still feel a little stuck or like you need a helping hand, I have the perfect solution. And I have been there before. And I know it's scary, but today's podcast is sponsored by a service I love that was so helpful when I was starting out, which is Squarespace. They are very beginner friendly and easy to use, whether you're looking to sell a product, post content, grow a brand, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. They make it easy for you if you're just starting out with features like the flexible website templates with designs for any category you can think of that you can just customize and update. I remember that is something that I like could not wrap my head around how to even like make a website and they just make it so easy. And now my personal few favorite features are the video collection, the asset library and the custom merch. The video collection allows me to organize my video content easily. The asset library Let's me upload, organize, and access all my content in one place. So it's just organized and simple. And custom merch allows me to easily sell my merch to my beautiful audience. They just make it so easy to create a beautiful website for any endeavor that you're starting. So try it out. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash circle time to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Is there fog rolling in? Because that's facts on oh God. Oh my God, I was so confused. <laughs> yeah. Did you make that up? Yeah, I did it on our podcast. So On ours? On our podcast? Brooke and, Brooke and Connor make a podcast. You know I've how often on. Cody and I have conversations like this where he's like, oh, we're recording blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, me and you are recording? Because I don't think we are. Oh, that's got to be hard because... It's got to be hard for him because it's probably so annoying for me to just do that over and over well, again. He's got like a hundred podcasts. I know, but something about when like... 
and I just did it to you. When you're like, oh, what, we did that on our, when we always say that. And I'm like, me and I don't always well, say now, that. Yeah, now I got to just be more aware because we would always. We well, would be me right. and you. It's like first person. Oh my gosh. Learning another language would be so horrible yeah. for me. Yeah. That's when I lose it. You know, it took me five years to finish college because I could not pass Spanish. Really? Mm -mm. You took Spanish in college? Five times I took it. I took it freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, senior. Third, you didn't like maybe try to like look online? Like like cheat? Yeah. I did cheat. I <laughs> failed still. My roommate was Venezuelan. His mom could not help me with my test. Oh, that's so sad. They're going to take my degree away because of this podcast. But I don't think they can. Can they? Retroactive. I think they can retroactively. I don't need it for anymore. For how long? Anyways, but do you think there's like a statute of limitations for degree removal? <laughs> yeah. There might be. I feel like there should be. I earned my degree. I didn't need to go to Italian class. No. And I facts. did. I did. What was your major? Child development. That's right. I knew that. What was yours? Communication. Well, I'll <laughs> never be able to communicate with someone who speaks Spanish. Well, you—that's true. Proficiently. But you're doing you—you're you, doing an amazing job communicating. Use, communicating in general. That's like your full-time job now. Well, like technical. My actual major was advertising in the communication school. Oh, did you want to do like what did you want to do? I wanted to work at like an advertising agency, but then I ended up going brand side instead i went okay. to went to bumble right right right. and then yeah and then what bird bird Scooters. fired fired <laughs> boom 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 pow <laughs> what was the pow did you get fired again from the next i couldn't get another job that was the, that was the pow to my gut <laughs> where that was the kill shot is that, is that when covid happened yeah you know i interviewed for 55 jobs when covid during covid <laughs> like several like so that means I I did, and a lot of those were like several round interviews, which I probably did like 160 interviews during COVID. Oh my God. Couldn't get, couldn't lock any of them down. Holy shit. Failure to launch. Seriously. Delayed. <laughs> That's a huge pow. It was a pow to, to the, the kisser. Chest. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But then look at you. I know. You wouldn't wow. have gotten here. Lucked out. We would have never been chatting. Mm -mm. Oh my God. That makes me sick. You think you would have listened to Circle Time? Yeah. For sure. Really? Yeah, because everyone ended up on TikTok. You know, like yeah. everyone would have found their way. Right, right, right. Somewhere. Like, yeah. Yeah, I would have. I, I loved, I remember like finding your videos and mm -mm. absolutely loving them. That's so bizarre. When I look back at those videos, I'm like, wow. They were great. That, that's that little boy. Yeah, you've grown a lot. I know. Actually. I know. And now we're friends. Thank God. I know. Ooh, I don't even do? like talking about it because the butterfly effect, is that what it is? Where it's like little things could like change everything? Yeah. Or is that the Mandela effect? No, that's not the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect is like when you think that like something like Thomas the Train had like smile, but he didn't smile. No, he did not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't actually, I don't know why I said Thomas the Train. That was like really. I think he was smiling. Really rogue for me, but it's like when you remember it one way, but it's actually another way. The Berenstein way. Bears. The Berenstein Bears yeah. is like one of the famous ones. Yeah, but the butterfly effect freaks me out. The butterfly effect isn't that just like when one thing, if one Leads. thing was different, then it would have. Well, that's the butterfly effect because it's like if a butterfly flaps its wings in India and it, there's a little, it knocks over. You know, a, a toothpick. I don't know what a butterfly's, the wind power right. of a butterfly's wing right. does something. Yeah. I think of it, you know, the butterfly effect. I think of it more like, okay, a bird eats a butterfly and that it was starving and now it has enough power to go poop into someone's drink and the drink was laced with bird whatever. Poop? It was, well, I mean, if, if you, if, cause why this, am I having such a hard time okay, following this? Like if, if, if a butterfly causes <laughs> someone to become president in the United States, a butterfly in India okay. by proxy. Yeah. I'm kind of like, I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, wait. Let me do it better. <laughs> okay, so if I were to yeah. meet someone out at a bar yes. by chance mm -hmm. who in, who's like, oh, like, I have a comedy, or I have a friend that works in comedy, you should talk to them. Right. And then by that, I ended up getting a Netflix special. Right. And meeting the president. Like, it was just because I yes. decided to go to that, to bar, that bar that night. Yes. Okay. That that's makes like, so much more that's sense. That's way easier. I should have just said that. I mean, you know I'm kind of stupid. Please, <laughs> stop. Well, it's just the baby's eating my brain. Oh, is he? No. But I like to say that. Because then, like, you get off the hook Oh, baby for brain. Baby brain. Yeah, I'm like oh every every all my thing, all my nutrients, all my smarts mm -hmm. are going to him now, and so like, 
I'm just so nice. I need to get pregnant. Yeah, it's a good excuse. Yeah, yeah like you could you could use that's how you get the shared plate. That's the hack. That's the ultimate shared plate. Oh, hack. Sorry, guys. Woo-woo. Like if I'm out and there's shared plates, everybody's like, no, 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 finish it. You need it. Oh, wow. You're pregnant. And I'm like, oh, you guys sure? Oh, my gosh. Then just do it. I should just get a parasite. And I'm like, sorry, guys, parasites. Yeah, you should. Hungry. You don't. That'd be so miserable. So gross. Like that's the grossest thing in the world to me is worms and parasites. Really? Grossest I, thing in the world. I know someone who mm-hmm, found... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think that we should even go down this road. I'm serious. Okay. Well, tell it's me. It's not inside them. It's outside of them? Yeah. It's, I don't know. What, I don't want to know where it, where is it on their body. <laughs> what, what did you just think I was going to say that made you, that made you physically like a, gasp? Like a leech? Is it a leech? No. Do they have a leech? No, no, no. Leeches okay. really scare me. Yeah. Mm-mm. But yeah. Um, no, he got, he had like bed slugs. <laughs> Not bags, not bag, not bed slugs. <laughs> bed slugs. Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if I had to see it, then I want to tell someone you about it. You saw them? Well, I didn't oh, see them I in wanna... person. He posted oh. it on his Instagram story. What? He he was like, does anybody? And it was like so chill. Hey, like, anybody I, else have bed slugs? <laughs> I would have had burned down my home before I was to go to Instagram to see what was going on. But he was just like, hey, does anybody know what these are? <laughs> they're like in my bed and then he was like turns out they're bed slugs and i was like That's, oh damn i would never i i don't know how i could continue on i would find a doctor to remove all of my skin yeah <laughs> and get new skin that's or like i don't i can't even imagine the panic it makes me sick like like this is how bad it is for me like okay. if i find a spider in my house that's an like it freaks me out thinking of the past mm-hmm. when it was in my room and I was just living in there. Okay. Like that's what that, like, it so makes it's, me. It's a, is it a, it's all bugs. So the, yeah, I hate bugs. Okay. I told Brooke, I would, I would love to live in a fumigation tent. Yeah. Don't care what it does to me. I would love to live in a white room. Mm-hmm. I guess this is the insane asylum. Right. That I could see everything. Like, I yeah, don't want to like. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like couldn't agree more. Hate that. I really, uh, spiders don't bother me. That's crazy. But like thinking of bugs in my bed, like actually, I used to, when I was a kid, I like part of my like nighttime routine, aka like I just had like a, I had a lot of things. There was no skincare involved. Check for bed slugs. (laughs) There was no skincare involved. It was more just like I had to like smile at myself in the mirror and say something to my, like it was like a little bit like OCD OCD, of me when I was a child. And a big thing I had to do every night before I went to sleep. And if I didn't do it, like I simply... I would go insane mm-hmm. was check my bed for bugs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Every no, night. that's going to start happening to me. Yeah. Now. No, it won't. Cause I think about it now and I, I'm able to like control it. Like I don't have to do it anymore, but if I think wow. about it too much, then I still oh my gosh. give a little check. Ella enchanted vibes. You freed yourself from the curse. Oh my God. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Good, really good movie. Should I watch tonight? You, you should because when Anne Hathaway hits that, find her somebody to love oh. and all the giants. Give it a little soul. <laughs> I genuinely have no clue what you're oh, talking about. Oh my gosh. Re- revisit it. Okay. And maybe I've never seen it because this sounds like a completely different movie. I, I read the book when I was a kid. It's really good. It's a good movie. I like that that era of movies where it was like Elden Villagers. Any movie like that. I like The <laughs> Hobbit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like I've never seen The Hobbit. Really? Yeah. Elves. And, like and, speak to you? Yeah. Why? What speak to you? Is that a movie or is that, or <laughs> the movies speak to me? Like elves, do elves speak to you? Like, do they like resonate with you? Why? <laughs> because you're saying that you like elf. Oh, just like elven movies. That's, I think that elven is like an adjective. I'm using it as an adjective here. But wouldn't that just mean like elves? I think elven is different from elves. What, I don't know. What I'm are you saying? Up. Like that era. You were like, I like elven movies, like the Hobbit. Hang on, let me look at what elven means if that's even a word is that even a word elven names elven denoting or characteristic of an elf (laughs) (laughs) you were right on the money (laughs) so you didn't mean elves i guess like i'm i'm literally describing you're describing like fairy tales yeah i think i'm thinking i'm talking about fairy tales i think you're talking about fairy tales Hmm, that's something to think about that is and that's sweet that you like fairy tales but you like when they're realistic like ella enchanted yeah yeah, yeah. With giants and singing. Giant, like Shrek. 
okay, you like like a, you like like kind of like a like a dirty fairy tale. Yeah. Like with giants. Yeah. Where someone's a little bit misunderstood maybe. Yeah. But then at but in the end, you know, everyone's right. they there's a really good opportunity for someone to make one that doesn't have a happy ending, like a like a sad like a darker I'm sure kind of spin happened. on like bad Santa vibes, but like that's I'm that's got to be but like funny. You should do it. Verbal trademark. Ella Enchanted, bad girl version. The real story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I am tired of recently is like like Rachel Zegler is going to be in that new Snow White. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, Snow White. Yeah. Is it Sleeping Beauty or Snow White? It's Snow White. And she's like, I'm not waiting for no man. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. that's the whole that's the whole plot is that you do have to wait for that man. I mean, you could kill him after he kisses you, but he got to wake you up. Yeah. There's there's a whole debate about that. Make a new movie. That's what I don't like. Write a new movie. Yeah. The yeah. strike is over. They're available for work. Yeah, start writing again. Make a new movie. That's why I'm tired of it. Superman's going to be a girl. Make a new... Oh, well, that's a bad example. Batman's going to be a girl. Write a new character for this person. Make a new... Well, that there's Catwoman. Catwoman, damn. I'm getting... I totally understand I just think, like, what you're make saying, a though. New... Instead of like changing Snow White, how about you just make... A different, a new princess. Right, right. Rachel Ziegler, a new movie for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Give her a new. She could be the face of this new character. Right. She's just That's a all new. I'm she's the new Snow White. I know. I she's get gonna what you're be, saying. She's though. gonna be great, I'm sure. But it's just like I guess we'll see. Make her make a new movie for these people. I no, want to see I, a new movie. I understand that. Yeah. And also, like, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I totally agree. Honestly, this is deeper than what I'm saying initially but i feel like it almost discredits women in superhero movies when they're just like oh now superman's a girl it's like make a powerful female character like you're saying like superman shouldn't be a girl it should just be someone new a powerful superhero that right. like yeah you know i don't know i think it's like almost sets themselves up for it's just like she doesn't need to just be the woman version of yeah. a man thank you she could just be yeah. a strong woman yeah yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Wow. That was a good way to put it. I always explain it in too many words and then... But you get there. Eventually. The butterfly effect thing was a perfect yeah. example of that. Like it yeah. started out really rough for mm -hmm. me, but then I totally understood what you were saying by the end of good. it. Good. Oh, I'm so glad. You should be a teacher. You'd be the worst teacher. Uh-huh. I would hate a kid. Yeah. I told you that last time I was here, I think. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Hmm. I think so. I'm laying it out there. And you know what? I don't think you would in the moment. Mm-mm. But sometimes you get the urge. I don't know how you'd have to. I'd have to bring like a screaming pillow, like a pillow I could scream into. <laughs> it's just because you just need patience. I don't have it. Yeah, I'm learning at this difficult time. Right, you don't need it. Luckily, you're I not know. a teacher, and you don't have kids around you, so you're fine. I get irritable a lot, where and then I'm like have to be like, it is not this person's fault that. Yeah, you know, I get irritable a lot too, mm -hmm. especially being pregnant. Oh, like, I can't even imagine. It's. It's pretty, I'm kind of mean sometimes. At least you have an excuse. A lot of people are just blaming it on the moon. No, but I don't think it, I don't think it, like, I still don't think it should be an excuse. Like, I shouldn't just be mean to someone because they're, like, annoying me. Oh, that's like a scientific, like, hormone level situation. Yeah, but I should still, like, have patience for people. You're, you're a better person than I am. I mean, I'm not saying I do. I'm just saying mm. I should. Well, we salute you. And I salute you. Wait, I want to ask you a question. What's it like being a dog dad? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, last time I was here, you were it hiding it. It was a secret. Well, because I adopted Max, right? And then I knew that I immediately, I already had stuff I had to go to New York for for nine days, and I was like, "This is gonna look so bad." Yeah, I get this dog. It, it looked like I got him for Instagram, and then immediately leave for nine days. He was right. with my family right. in Newport. He was totally fine, being and, well taken care of. Yeah, and he actually probably completely forgot that I was the one that adopted him. Obviously, because right. I left yeah. immediately. But I came back. Yeah, he's amazing. I just went and he met my whole family for the first time in Idaho. I drove up to Idaho for Thanksgiving. That's sweet. They're obsessed. Yeah. How could you not be? My mom kept calling her herself grandma. And I was like, this is like no, a I, dog. I call my parents. My parents are Chili's Grammy really? and grandpa. Oh and God. he knows if I say like, Grammy and grandpa are coming no over. He's way. like, he's ready to ready to see him. Oh, chill. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why I got the ick when my mom was calling herself grandma <laughs> for my dog. Like, yes. It's sweet. Just let her have it. I think because let I didn't have it. Brooke is like on my case about this right now because I, I think I feel like because I didn't get Max as a puppy that I didn't like raise him, you know, that like mm -hmm. I think of him as like, I call him brother. I'm like, oh, brother, come here. Like, I don't he's think he's like my brother, son. but I don't. 
Like to, you don't see yourself as like a father figure. No, like I take care of him and I let him out and I feed him and everything. But like right. I don't, I don't feel like I'm his father so much. Interesting. Yeah. I think maybe you have a little bit of imposter syndrome. Maybe. Why is that? Because I think that you you are his father figure, yeah. and like you're taking care of him, you're helping him live and like grow every day. Yeah, you're doing what a father does, and mm -hmm. you're just you're not giving yourself the credit that you deserve. Well, I could also be my brother's keeper. No, and that's true, Con. Like you, you guys could have had parents that maybe passed away, mm -hmm. unfortunately, like you and Max. Yeah. Right. And they, they left him to you. Or like, they maybe they just left town. Your mm -hmm. parents left town. They mm -hmm. left you guys. They couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, I'll take care of you. Yeah. It just doesn't, it just doesn't hit the same. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I am. But we have, our episode comes out like today mm -hmm. when Brooke is convincing me that I'm his father and I'm ready for all the comments to be like coming at my throat. People are going to eat that up. You are <laughs> his father. I agree with Brooke. Okay. No, I, I see that. It's a good thing. Yeah. No, it's a great thing. And it's, I think it's just time to grab the reins and take off. Yeah. And just be, be dad. I know. You're right. It's okay. It doesn't make it any like, maybe you think that because like, if you say like that you're dad, like it makes it like scarier or like yeah. more of like a commitment. I mean, the first time I went to go pick up a dog yeah. from the shelter, one, it ended up getting adopted before I even got there. So this, this story is null. Yeah. But two, I was like, oh, it's one year old. I looked at this, the breed. Mm -hmm. They live till 16. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be yeah. X age old. Right. And I was like, that makes it's me feel lot. so sick. Yeah. I like, I remember getting chilly and being like, he's going to meet my kids. Blech. Yeah. Yeah. And now he like seriously is. Yeah. Like we, soon. Totally. What do you think that's going to be like? I think it's going to be great. All the pets around the baby. I don't know what the cat's like vibe is going to be. Cats are, you can't really anticipate no, for the most part. But ours are pretty dog -like. Sometimes they go. They do. Actually, yeah. that happened yesterday with yeah. me and one of them. She was just swatting the shit out SWAT. of me. Swat. Yeah, they might swat mm -hmm. at the little boy, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. We're just going to learn and grow. Bloom. Because it's literally all you can do. You know? Yeah. But Chili is going to be perfect. Chili is going to be perfect. Hopefully. I, I mean, Chili can't, he's not going to do anything. Jump. No, but Maybe he, get jealous. He might get a little jealous, yeah. but I don't know. I feel like he's a good sharer. Oh my gosh, Cody told me yesterday how sad it is that you guys have like owls. So Chili yeah. can't really be out by himself. We have owls and coyotes, so Damn. he can't just like roam around. Mm -mm. He's got to be leashed up at all times. That is so crazy. It is sad. It, um, that is sad. Makes sense. So at least you noticed before you, he was out there by himself. Yeah, duh. Well, because my neighbors in Texas had Yorkies and... I watched a bald eagle take one and fly off. Yeah. With That's its talons. so sad. Horrible. Was he like yelping? Yeah. He always yelped, so we weren't that upset. <laughs> we were like, oh, oh. You paid that eagle. It was a nice, quiet. The, the, the bald eagle, eagle's the eagle was an inside guys. job. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not, no. Sorry. <laughs> the eagle was <laughs> a man of the people. The eagle was doing it for you guys. Yeah. 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 That was sad, but like we moved forward with several quiet mornings until they got a New Yorkie. As they should. Yeah. Because theirs got like picked up into the sky. And hey, fish gotta swim, birds gotta eat. No. no. What is this now? Justice for the eagle? No, it's Finding Nemo. That was a direct quote. Oh, sorry. <sighs> it's okay. Another one of my favorite movies. Interesting. Such a classic. It's good. Yeah, I love Lilo and Stitch, Finding Nemo. Lilo and Stitch breaks my heart. I actually, like, I have a really hard time getting through that. Oh, no. It is the saddest movie. Yeah. It is so sad. It's tragic from the start because you see that, like, talk about Brother's Keeper, Sister's Keeper. Yeah. The older sister's, like, raising her right. little sister. Right, Which is just so powerful. Totally. Hmm. I've never thought about the themes of that movie. And, Le I mean, Stitch, like, he's so misunderstood. Yeah. So is Lilo. So, mm -hmm. you know, Poor Lilo, that's a child that's acting out because she needs she's she's missing. She has a void. Totally. Yeah. And that damn picture. Anytime she pulls up that charred picture of her parents, I, <laughs> I choke up. Just like when when they're like separated, when Lilo and Stitch get separated. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? I don't even know exactly what happens, but it's devastating. It's devastating. He was a, he t gets taken back by the yes, by, by the by aliens. The, by the, ugh. Yeah. I hate them. I fucking cannot stand Actually, by the end. 
it's all good in the hood. Yeah, of course. But it but yeah, sucks. It took a long He's time so to get there. Sad. I know. Let's get this girl a new picture of her parents. <laughs> That's not even the part that does it for me. I'm just like, if you had a AI, she would have loved AI. Lila would love AI. Yeah. Yeah. She would. I think I'm, I want to watch that again. Let's get Lila some AI images of her parents because <laughs> <laughs> she needs a new pic. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fake then. Oh. Like it's not She's even real. so young. She wouldn't know. She wouldn't have no idea. She would have so no idea. True. Gaslight under, and, and Gaslight Lilo thinking, into thinking that AI is real. That her parents are actually down the road. She could FaceTime them every day with AI. That's creepy. That's horrifying. <laughs> yeah. She needs to learn about death. Wow. It's true. It's a part of life. Not in the mood for that conversation right now. <laughs> what we can talk about Sorry. is what, what movies are you going to show baby boy when, when he arrives? Hamilton. Wow. And Taylor Swift era's tour. Okay. And anything animated? Yeah, I'll show him whatever I like. Inside Out, I think that's. Oh a good my one. god, Kelsey, that's a heavy movie. <laughs> that one actually had me having a panic attack in the theater. Well, because you're older, like you know, it's it won't hit that hard. I think for like a younger, I don't know what I'm gonna show him. Coco, that's a really good movie. That one, phenomenal. Oh, Coco, you're talking okay, twice in movies. theaters. What about like day to day TV shows? Because those are gonna annoy the, your ass off. By the, the way, the thing is, Coco Melon. Uh, he's not gonna watch that. Yeah, don't show him that. I don't know. I have no idea. That's like down the line. Like at first, he's not even going to know what's going on. Like right. my show is going to be on the background. I'm right. watching Gilmore Girls while mm -hmm. he's just like kind of sitting oh, there. That warms my heart. Yeah. yeah. But like I I don't know when the time comes, but he's like what his screen time is going to look like. I watched a full episode of that show Bluey the other day. Did not know it was by yourself. Didn't know it was for babies. Yeah. Did makes, you love it? It's a great show. Yeah. And they have Australian accents. They which I'm, love it. I'm so drawn to. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Have you watched any more? Like, have you planned on no, watching more? No, I don't even know why it was on or how I accessed it. Yeah, that's. Do you have cable? My grandma does. I was at her house, and I was. That just makes like, sense. Oh. That makes actually total sense. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you liked it. It's awesome. Maybe I'll watch that. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should. Maybe that could be like what he watches. Oh, you know, it's Paw Patrol. Your baby's gonna be so used to you podcasting, like for hours. No, he's not. When he comes out, well, he's here right now. Oh, with us he's in the gonna room. be used to my voice. Yeah. Is the baby in the room with us right now? Do you know that meme? Yeah. So funny. Meme? It's a meme, isn't it? It's a TikTok it? sound. No, it's not a TikTok sound. It's like a joke. It's like an inside joke in the comments. What is it from? If someone's like, I'm no, having a good a, hair day, and then people are like, is the good hair oh, day in the room with us yeah, right it's, it's It's the funniest. It's the f I said it yesterday on our podcast. On our podcast? Sorry. Or your podcast on, that you did with Cody or your Brooke. podcast with Brooke? On Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. Thank I you. I said, Brooke was talking about how she couldn't get her bag in the overhead bin because she's a, such a petite woman. Right. And I said, <laughs> no. well, it's so weird because the airlines love to push courtesy for others when you're putting on the oxygen mask. Where is it when you're lifting your bag? Right. You know, right. Is, is the courtesy in the fuselage with us right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the end of the... I love, I love it. Yeah. It's my favorite, apparently not a meme, but it's my favorite well, we thing. Gotta, can we get to the bottom of where it's from? Is Do you know where it's from, Blank Rush? In... There's like a photo that comes up Okay. That's like this interrogation type hospital room. Oh, I've never seen that Neither once. Have Neither have I, but I see it in the comments. Interesting. I feel like that's a meme. It's a meme. Marsh says it's a meme, so it's a meme, Connor. Okay. Because Marsh. Believe Marsh. Believe Marsh always. <laughs> yeah. That's what I always say. Believe, believe women, believe Marsh. That's what I stand by. That's where we are right now as a society. I'll continue to stand by that one forever. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, Con, I have, like, questions. Oh, the question box. Well, okay. it's not a box. Thank you. Is the question box in the room with us right is, now? Is the question box in your in your plush bag right with <laughs> us right now? I don't know why I knew you were going to say something about this bag. I like the bag. It's okay. It's very you. Is it? Yeah. But I kind of hate it. I like, you have, like, a really, this is going to come off totally insulting. Totally, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's unique, your style. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But like you have a vision for stuff that like I feel like is a gift. Okay, I appreciate that. I, I, I did not stopped. pick that out. How did you That was gifted to oh, me. Oh, Lisport Tech. Yeah. I have two of their duffel bags. And I love it. Yeah, no, it's cool. So I use it, but like that wasn't like that wasn't like a Kelsey original. Well, you manifested it because it obviously it That's fits your true. style. That's true, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Yes. 
Okay, so we, we're changing things up. We have a book now of questions. That's Not cool. just little questions. So you can choose cool. a date, and each date has a question. So okay. you give me a date, and I'll give you the question from that date. Okay, like a like a date of the year? Like a, Yeah, a calendar date. Okay, September 11th. Oh my God, your birthday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you were lucky I knew that. I know, Kelsey, I'm so impressed, because I thought you were going to look at me and be like, Nope. Can't get by me. I know. I'm a teacher. Ready? That's true. Teachers are so good with birthdays. Yes, I'm ready. What is the first thing you did this morning? First thing I did this morning was look at my dog. Mm -hmm. Open my eyes. Mm -hmm. He was standing or looking back at me <laughs> in a way that like was almost telekinetic. Interesting. Yeah. Does he sleep in the bed with you? He slept in my bed every single night. Mm-hmm. I don't love because I have always in my my entire life I've had white bedding. Right. Oh my god, to check for bugs probably. Right. Totally. Like subconsciously, I was well, checking for bugs. Be careful because this the bed slugs are white. Kelsey, god damn it, Kelsey! <laughs> oh, oh my I'm god! Sorry. Oh no! And you know what sucks is I can't even Google bed slugs because if I see an image of one, I'm it's gonna ruin my I'm whole sorry. day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, bed slugs, name me. I know. The person that named them bed slugs needs to go to jail. <laughs> I don't know. That's like the scientific word for them. Are you itchy? No. But if you start talking about lice, I will be. I'm not going to do it, but just know <laughs> if you weren't pregnant, yeah. I would. <laughs> don't spare me because of that. I'm not getting the baby involved in this. In this he appreciates in this that. Quiff. Thank you. Quiff? Queef, I Queef. think. <laughs> Queef was what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, Thank you. Thing, yeah. Yeah, I've always had, and I and I always think about him walking around right. like where I live, and I'm like, I wouldn't walk around barefoot and then get in my bed. So why is he getting in my bed barefoot? Okay. So then I started getting kind of just hyper aware of his feet when he mm. would get in my bed. Okay. <laughs> so I kicked him out one single time. Okay. And he never got back in my bed. Oh, that's sad. I actually, has no interest in being in my bed anymore. Kind of nice. Yeah. It is nice. Yeah, that's good. I also just got someone sent me dandelion. I think is the name of the company, but it's a paw cleaner. Yeah. Is it, um, do you like, it's like foam comes out and it's you scrub it. And you I scrub think it. I might have that one. And you don't even have to rinse it off. Yeah. You just wipe yeah, yeah, it. yeah. I do. I have Obsessed that one. With that. Chili has, Chili uses it all the time. It makes me think, you know, I talked about like thinking about past me. It grosses me out in the past that I didn't use to clean his feet. Yeah. I don't always do it though. No, me neither. Like sometimes I like put Chili's paw like on my nose and give it a good, good sniff. What does it smell like? Fritos? Potato chips, yeah. I'm like, that's gonna be the ick too. Not yours, but like everyone comments because I always have Max's paws on my on and in around my face. Yeah. And people are like Frito face, and I don't know why that <laughs> that grosses me. Frito out. face is is tough. Yeah, it's a tough nut to swallow. Yeah, it totally. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like bed slugs. I don't. Okay, and we're even. We're even. <laughs> bed slugs. We have to lay that conversation to rest. I'll never bring it up again. Because every time that it comes back up, I've got like I've got like two minutes expiration where, where they're still living in my brain. Right, no, no, we'll never talk about okay, it again. Cool. Promise. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to do just really quick one more? Yeah. Quick. Do I get to pick the date? Yes. January sixth. Connor, <sighs> come on. It's my parents' anniversary. We're going to D.C. this year to celebrate. Is it actually your parents' anniversary? No. <laughs> We're going to D.C. I hate you. We're having a barbecue on the lawn. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. It might be my child's birthday, so. Oh my goodness. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking bed slug. <laughs> You're going to say, what animal would I be? There's one recently that I like really like, but I can't remember what it was. Then you don't really like it. I know. I like the idea of being able to hang out in water for a long time, but also like not needing to live in water. Okay. So probably like a hippo. Okay. There's, I'm an apex predator. I'm eating good. Mm -hmm. I have a family that I stay with forever and mm -hmm. family and friends. Yeah. A herd. Yeah. I'm kind of going beast mode. The thing that I love don't that. love about hippos is the water that they do live in is like murky. You know, I'd like to live mm -hmm. in clear water. Right. If I, could li if I could be a clear water hippo, that would be my ideal situation. That sounds perfect. Yeah. That's Thank you. Great answer. Thanks. That was fun to answer. Well, there's more where that came from. You're always allowed back on the circle. I have. It was, it was way too easy. The fact that we just killed an hour too, on accident. Too fun. Too, too fun. Con, 
I love you. Love you, Kels. Do you want to tell the circlers where they can find you? Everybody can find me at. Can Stop. we beat my address? Please take that out. That's his actual. That was address. my actual address. You can find me at Fibula on socials. My name is Connor Wood, mm-hmm. and I'm touring in the spring. <gasps> so I'm doing some stand-up touring in the spring. Yeah. That's so exciting. I've been look told- out for the dates because when this comes out, they might be out already. Oh yeah, right. So look out for the dates. I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be. Promoting that, promoting that. <laughs> okay, we got to work on that. I'm going bed slug mode today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, look out for Connor on tour if you want to go see him. Check his Instagram for the dates, and if they're not out yet, they will be out soon. Uh huh. And thanks, Con. Thanks for having me, Kelsey. Thanks was for being here. Too much fun. Love you. Love you. See you next time. Yes, ma'am. Bye, guys. See you next time. note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.